welcome to your love reading for October. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general love reading for the entire month. It's not specifically for singles or couples. It's just for all of you. If you are looking specifically for a singles reading, I do post those as well. It's, it's just not going to be at the same time as this, probably first week of October. Um, and I do weeklies and mid-monthlies as well. So there's a ton of them for you to check out if this one does not resonate for you, even if it does, whatever. What else, guys? If you need a personal reading, everything you need to know is in the description of this video. Hit me up. If this resonates, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. All right, here we go, guys. Um... My cat has been making an appearance in the last two readings, so hopefully he doesn't jump up here. If he does, I'm sorry. This is kind of his spot, and I'm invading his space. <sighs> he already turned the light off because he was pissed. Anyway, overall energy for Aries in love in October. Page of Swords. I will show these to you as I'm reading them as well. Recent past for Aries in love. Nine of Swords. Present energy for Aries in love. Page of Cups. You've got two pages here. That's two offers. So far, immediate future for Aries. Oop. Immediate future for Aries in love. The hangman. What are you hoping for, Aries? The eight of wands reverse. Why? Why are you hoping for that? <laughs> Potential obstacle for Aries in love. Strength reverse. There goes a candle. They're all going to go out here in a minute. Um, whew. What are you afraid of, Aries? What is Aries afraid of in love? Karma reverse. That's judgment. Advice. Advice for Aries in love. Eight of Cups reversed. Okay. This is a pretty strange reading, guys, actually. It's kind of all over the place, but we'll get to it. All right. So for me as a reader, the overall energy is always the person that I'm reading for. That would be you. So... Aside from the overall energy that you're taking on, everything else in the reading can be for you, the person you're dealing with, or surrounding energies, okay? Well, I'll let you know as we go along, all right? So you guys in the month of October are being all Page of Swords. So you're being really investigative. You might be stalking someone's social media or you're opening up a new line of communication with someone. Uh, if so, it is really honest, but it's a really investigative energy. So you might just be checking up on someone or checking into something that is a potential partner, checking to see if they're okay, um, or, you know, investigating the person that you're already with. Clarify the Page of Swords for Aries. Oh, yeah. Ten of Fire. This is such a beautiful card. It's the Ten of Wands. It's really not that pretty of energy, but this card's really pretty. But anyway, so the Ten of Fire is Ten of Wands. So it is your fire energy, but it's it's really heavy. It's super, super heavy. All the burdens you could possibly think of. Everything's weighing you down. Like you're either really exhausted from a connection or you're too exhausted for a connection. Because it's like it, you're just so drained, so exhausted. You don't have anything left to give. You need to put some shit down here. You need to release some shit. You need to let some stuff go. All right, what is this? What are these burdens, Aries? 
clarify the Ten of Fire, aka Ten of Wands, or Aries. The Four of Cups reverse, that's Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It doesn't have to mean anything as far as signs, though, since we're still in your energy. With the Four of Cups reverse, though, it's coming out of a period of contemplation, coming out of a period of apathy, where you're just kind of like looking at some options, looking at some possibilities, looking at, you know, which direction you could go in this and not really taking any action. But now you kind of are. You're like, you're done sitting on something and you're ready to actually take some action. And I think that that's why you're all Page of Swords because you wanna make sure that you know, you're making the right decision. You're going, you're going in the right direction. And you could want to know if somebody has other options with the four of cups here. You might be checking, checking up on that. All right. In your recent past, you have the nine of swords. This is air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but this is anxiety and depression and staying up all night and just feeling like complete shit. Like somebody, somebody is really not doing well emotionally, mentally, whether it's you or someone around you. And this is in the recent past, so I don't know that this is still happening, happening, but in the recent past, somebody was really not emotionally well. Now in your present, you have the Page of Cups. This is Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is that other offer that I was talking about. You've got two here. Um, this one is the emotional offer. It's somebody and it's still new. It's a new offer. It's like somebody either offering something emotional. I, I won't go as far as to say like actual love unless you already know the person. Um, but it is a new emotional offer. It can also be an apology. Younger water energy, if I didn't say that already. Let's clarify this page of cups. Clarify the page of cups for Aries. Throne of Air reversed is the King of Swords reversed. So Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But this is being very cold and detached. Um, so someone here in this connection or lack of connection, whatever it is for you, someone is really cold and detached. And there's someone here trying to offer something emotional. Like here, here, accept my offer. You know, let me take you out, whatever. And the other person's like, don't even fucking talk to me. Don't talk to me. I don't want to hear it. Don't talk to me. <laughs> um, watch out for somebody not telling you the whole truth as well. Watch out for somebody being verbally abusive. King of Swords reverse can kind of be that way. Really critical, really harsh with their words. Clarify this. King of Swords reversed. The Nine of Pentacles. So it looks like somebody's just going to be single here. Um, but it's by choice. Nine of Pentacles is Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It is my single lady card, doesn't have to be a chick, it's just the energy of the card. So it's the kind of person who doesn't need another person, doesn't mean that they wanna be single forever, but they're okay. They're gonna do just fine being single and it looks like somebody's, there's an offer here and somebody's just like uh, not open to it and they would just rather be single. Okay, now in your future, you have the hanged man. This is Pisces energy, but this is just going off. It's it's just kind of going off and hanging out and trying to observe the situation from, you know, different perspectives, different angles, trying to gain some enlightenment on the situation here, whatever it is, um, but not really taking any action in it. Let's clarify the hanged man. Clarify the hanged man for Aries. Okay, so we have the Ace of Pentacles here, all right? It says Earth in this deck, same thing. So after this period of, of, of observing, right, looking at, at the situation from different angles, whatever, going off and just, just kind of watching, 
there is a new offer of commitment here in the future. I don't know how far in the future because currently somebody still wants to be single. But in the future, there is a brand new offer. It is committed. Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, but it's going to feel like it's really slow moving. It's because it's meant to be stable. Okay? Um, but it's not going to come until somebody's taken this period to just kind of observe. All right. <clears throat> what are you hoping for? The Eight of Wands reverse. This is Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this is lack of action. Nothing happening. Nobody talking. So it might be that you're hoping that somebody just leaves you alone for now. <laughs> could be that. Or you could be hoping that somebody leaves someone else alone. Huh. Your potential obstacle. Strength reverse. Leo energy. It could be a Leo that's kind of detrimental in your love life right now. Or it's just a lack of confidence. Lack of patience. Lack of confidence. Um you know you you have the ten of wands as your overall so when you get to be that drained that exhausted it's going to cause a lack of confidence and feeling like you're not strong enough to handle something well, obviously because you're already carrying so much weight that you have to drop that shit you have to put that stuff down just, I mean, really, cut it out of your life. If it means you have to be cold and detached for a minute to do that, to get your confidence back, then so be it. All right. What are you afraid of? Karma reverse. This is judgment reverse. So you might be afraid of some kind of karmic issue here. You know, maybe you did something. I'm not judging. This is judgment. That's funny. I didn't even think about that. Um, maybe there's something here and you feel like, karma is not in your favor or you're afraid of something coming out um, or it could just be with judgment reverse judgment upright can can be like um something coming back from the past and it, with this being reversed it's like you're afraid that there's not that's not going to happen like there's not going to be any kind of reconciliation um that's your fear or it's you know you don't trust your own judgment you don't feel like you're able to discern or judge things properly. You could be afraid that somebody's judging you too harshly. All right. Your advice though here, guys, you have the Eight of Cups reversed, which is a strange one. This is what I meant in the beginning. Like this reading's weird. With the Eight of Cups reversed though, it's like <coughs> it might not be time to walk away quite yet. So it's either you know somebody's not walking away from a situation that's disappointing or somebody's trying to come back let's clarify that eight of cups before i speak on it anymore let's clarify the eight of cups reverse for aries oh that's interesting okay so you got the magician it's the elements in this deck, but it's the magician card. So are you manifesting that somebody somebody comes back to you? Are you manifesting yourself back into a relationship that you already left? That could be. Let's clarify that magician. Clarify the magician for Aries. Oh, on my lap. Yeah, the star, Aquarius. You're manifesting healing from a situation that somebody already left. There's a situation somebody walked away from and you are trying to manifest a healed connection, right? This is healing from the universe. And with the star and the magician here, you might be somebody who is actually into magic and trying to make this happen. I don't advise any manipulative magic, guys, but, you know, whatever, that's on you. But... If you are doing some type of magic, I would just focus on yourself, focus on your own healing so that you can draw to you somebody who's also healed. Don't don't focus on a specific person, but it does look like you are trying to manifest healing with someone that you walked away from or they walked away from you. <coughs> um, and you really need to pay attention right now to the signs that the universe is showing you. With the magician and the star here, there's like, it, it's heavy spiritual energy 
um, there's going to be signs, there's going to be synchronicities. You're going to want to pay attention to those, okay? All right, guys, take care. I will talk to you in a day or two.